Riley O'Connor is here to talk weather and another very pleasant day out there. I understand this is going to be a pretty nice week ahead, too. Yeah, it is. Well, the first couple of days, depending on what you like, if you like cooler temperatures, you're going to like the middle of the week. If you like hot temperatures, you're going to like tomorrow. But uh, we topped off today in the upper 80s. In fact, we're sitting at 87 degrees right now under sunny skies. The humidity, not terrible out there, but you notice the dew point at 61. Now, that uh, for some people can give, feel a little bit uncomfortable once you see the dew points hit about that 60 degree mark. Northwest winds continuing about 12 miles per hour and what to expect the next couple of hours. We're going to stay clear through evening. Storms have been firing east of the Cascades in the southern part of the state. We also have a fire threat down in that area. So your temperatures this evening will be in the low 80s through about 8 p.m. and then we'll be in the mid 70s through about 10 p.m. and then we'll start to see our temperatures dip into the 60s. Couple of 90s on the map within the last 45 minutes. Beaverton, you hit 91 right now at 89. Tiger at 84. Lower 80s out to, uh, towards Newburgh and Forest Grove. Happy Valley right now at 82. Vancouver sitting at 86 in Battleground. Good afternoon to you. You're sitting at 84 degrees. Temperatures along the coast have been cooler. Check out Newport 59. You've seen some fog in the area this afternoon. Lincoln City at 65 degrees. Hood River right now at 88. One of the warmer spots down towards uh, Salem. 91 degrees in the Dalles sitting right at 95. Statewide Pendleton, you're at 90 degrees. Burns at 83. Eugene 92 right now. So there are some hot spots on the map and we're also seeing some of these lightning strikes with some of the moisture that's been creeping in from parts of California and uh, notice here uh, what we're seeing basically is the flow is generally towards the north and the east. Some of these aren't really producing a lot of precipitation and that's why we're watching the fire threat through the evening hours. We did have a couple of cells between uh, Bend and also Mandras that we're trying to get going. Still watching this one right here. No real lightning out of this one just as of now but again I'll keep my eye on that one. You could see where the main areas to watch will be through this evening. This goes until 11 o'clock. Fire weather warnings for the southern parts of the state also out towards the east where we've been seeing some of those storms. So as we look at the big picture here, I've been talking about this upper level disturbance that's going to be pushing towards the south and you can see it right here. It's basically just on the uh, Washington, Oregon border. That's going to continue to push towards the south, interact with an upper level disturbance off the northern parts of California and that's going to continue to push some of this moisture in. So we're going to continue the threat for some of these storms, mainly in the southern parts of Oregon points east. What we're going to be seeing is more of a northwest flow coming in for us by Tuesday, and that's going to cool our temperatures down. So tomorrow morning is going to be the same similar situation what we saw this morning. Uh, some clouds in the area, mainly patchy clouds for the north and towards the west southern areas. We'll see more sunshine. I think we'll start the day off right around 62 degrees, but tomorrow we're going to end up around 88 for the metro area. Our western suburbs most likely will be into the lower 90s like we saw today. So as we look at the rain and cloud forecast continuing through tomorrow, Tomorrow we'll see a few of these storms firing up down towards the south and the east as some of that moisture spreads in. Now Tuesday we have a frontal boundary that starts to make its way in and our uh, northwesterly flow becomes a little bit uh, more pronounced. I should say it strengthens and that's going to provide us with some more clouds coming in, some cooler temperatures, and that will also continue on Wednesday with a mix of clouds and sun, mix of clouds and sun. I think even some drizzle possible or maybe a spotty shower along the coast. We'll see if some drizzle comes into the valley, but the models have. Uh, uh, let up a little bit on the moisture that has been trying to uh, push in on the previous runs into the valley. So mainly I'm going with drizzle versus shower chances for us. 75 for tomorrow though in Astoria. We're going to go lower 70s for Seaside, mid 70s for Tillamook and Newport around 68 degrees. It's going to be a hot one though along the I-5 corridor. I think most of us, especially south, will be in the lower 90s. Madras topping off around 92 degrees in Pendleton. Another hot day for you right around 94. The gorge will stay mostly sunny. The best chances of storms will generally be to the south of government camp. I have you around 82 and Cascade Locks right around 91. So again, our west siders are going to top off in the lower 90s and our east siders most likely in the upper 80s. So still a pretty warm day for you, but we will see some relief coming in the way of temperatures. Wednesday, 76 degrees with maybe a little spotty drizzle between there and Thursday. And then we jump back up to 85 though by next Sunday. So some warmer temperatures coming back in. All right. Still a little cooler than we've seen earlier this summer. Though. Right. A little bit of something for everyone, I guess.